Hello there, today I'll show you how to prepare study area map as well as also layout for our size. It is import shape file. You can remember based in shape file. So this one is the universe shape file. And let me make this one hollow and make it the color and increase. Like this. this one is ATO shape file and uh, click here, right click on ATO shape file and open it with table. Then let us go to select the specific study area. The specific study area is this one and right click export. I export this shape file to folder basin. I wash basin and save yes then okay okay now we have two uh, shape files it will reverse a basin shape file and uh, I wash uh, basin let's check this one like this and also rename this one yeah Right click again on it your reverse a basin and uh, we can deselect the selected clear selection yes and change the color of this shape file also let's use hollow then right color increase this size also and okay Oh, this one is a shape file. Now let's go to the layout view and minimize this one. And right click here, folder extent, then insert data frame new data frame so we use that new data frame for our super basin drag this shape file to the new data frame that we created full extent then next thing is insert the title of the map make it a wash basin okay now well, this one is the title of this study area and we can even change this one a wash a wash basin then Study area, study area, and we can change also text formatting. Text format, you can change the format of text. It make this one bold. You can change the colors, size, style. And okay, apply. Okay, so this one is the shape file having what's the study area then another thing that we uh, are going to do is insert legend insert legend next 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 finish so remove this yeah and uh, this legend is not visible so we can edit it right click property and a selector and change the symbol so we can make it yeah can change the color also size style as well and okay yeah, this one is the legend of the Ethiopian river basin and the, the red one which is a wash uh, river basin let's insert the legend for this map also Next, next, 
Thanks, thanks. Next. And when we look at the agent, it is not visible, so we can still uh, change it by right clicking on the legend, then symbol, then I make this one, one six. I change the colors, but let us accept that it is. Then okay, so this agent is visible. Another thing that we need to insert is nor zero is required. Let us use nor zero. Change the property of this nor zero by clicking on properties. Let increase the size so it will be visible. Yes. Then another thing that we need to insert is skill bar is also required. Let me use this one, then property, it use the division unit, which is kilometer. Let's change the symbol as of kilometer and uh, and also change size make it one six then accept okay apply okay okay and this one is scale bar and uh, now you can also uh, change the data frame properties as new grid. You can use gratitude, you can use measure to create reference grid. I prefer to use this one and next. Here we can use gratitude and the label as uh, look like this. Tick, which look like this. I prefer label only. Next, next, next. Then, uh, yeah, let us apply this one. When we apply, it looks like this, but we have to change the property of our uh, grid layout, data grid layout. Click on property, then let us remove this one. So this section and this section will be removed, and uh, change also the size. Let's make it, yeah, I make it one six. Then apply. Then okay. Okay, so look like this. Still, you can change the orientation of this level. Yes. Right click property. Then property. Yeah, I come here and the label orientation vertical. Let's make it vertical for the left one. Okay, apply. Okay. Now it is good. And uh, before uh, printing out uh, this uh, map, I come back here and uh, right click here, property and label, change this one. Placement property can also change. So let's try horizontal person straight, only place a label inside the polygon. Then OK, then apply, then OK. And uh, one more thing is left. Let add base map, add base map. So it can be clearly represent the geographical location of our study area. So let us use National Geography. And OK, now we can export this map in different formats study area map then we can change the resolution so once we change the resolution the width and the height pixel value will be changed and also we can change the, the types or uh, save types of our image save. Okay, let's come back here and see our image. 
three ram up which is interesting look like this so if you are interested with the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel